It's in vogue these days to say, thanks for your service. Um, and sometimes from our side, it's almost saying, like saying, hey, man, thanks for cutting the grass. You did a great job. Imagine giving up your youth for, for the most extreme form of war to ever happen. The U.S. Army took kids and turned them into men within minutes. They sacrificed their youth, and when I say their youth, I'm not talking about total age, I'm talking about the experience, the life experience, you know. 18-year-old kids get on a boat, get off the boat, chest deep water, machine guns blaring, right? Then they get to the beach, they have to climb with ladders while the Germans are shooting machine guns down at them, throwing frags. We, we showed them the worst of humanity. Fergus was the birthplace of 1st Ranger Battalion, only unit in the American Army ever formed uh, overseas in a foreign country. They trained here for beachhead landings, right? And really what happened was, um, you know, they practiced the beachheads in North Africa. They practiced the beachheads uh, also in uh, Italy before D-Day even happened. Later on, you know, 2nd Ranger Battalion, who went in on D-Day, 2nd and 5th, you know, they were trained in, in, uh, in Scotland and England. Nothing like the Rangers existed, so they were really making it up as they went along. You know, Colonel Darby is, you know, a legend in the Ranger world, and that world all started right here on this ground. generals on the beach and they were running up and down the beach not caring about their own safety trying to always keep the guys moving forward and someone was like hey who are you guys and the guys were like we're rangers they said well if you're rangers <laughs> lead the way This is a mantra for the Rangers now, and I think the words are really big, they're heavy. But I think at the time, it was, it was really simple. Get off the beach. We walk on the coattails of men who died on these beaches. Uh, men who died on those cliffs and these waters, women who died uh, in, this, in uniformed services caring for those wounded, we stand on their coattails and they want to know that it means something. And so we name bridges and we name highways and we name byways and we erect monuments and we name hospitals. And I think those things are important. I think they're right, well, and good. There's something that helps us remember that person. We could
could not forget by doing exactly what we're doing here now. Talking about what they did, we're, we're studying it, we're reading it, we're walking that ground. The oral tradition is very important to tell the story. And as long as you tell the story, the person is, is still alive because we remember them. And the other thing that does, I think, is, is reinforces that it mattered. What they did mattered. We got rid of true evil on this planet and the sacrifices that had to go along with that are incredible. You don't need to thank me, um, but I know people want to do something. They want to say something. Uh, it would be more meaningful to me uh, if someone said, what you did will not be forgotten and we will not forget you. We will remember you.